again today. Um, and I have been talking about it for some time. Um, and I'm finally doing it. Um, today's video, if you haven't guessed already, hint, hint, is all about plants. I've been wanting to become a plant mom for a very, I can't stress this enough, very long time. Um, when I was in university, I would like get small succulents, cactuses, thinking, you know, they are bulletproof, they will not die, and they would always die. I would try getting other things, and almost every single time, every, each and one of them died. Um, and I would always be sad, and for a very long time, I basically gave up on the dream of becoming a plant mom. But every time I would see my friends, you know, um, when I would visit their place, or when I would see their stories on Instagram or Facebook, um, you know, about their plants, and they're like thriving, they're happy, their place looks like this organic heaven. I would be heartbroken. Well, I should say heartbroken. I was so happy for them. But I was just not happy that it's not me who's doing that too. And why am I struggling so much? And yeah, and it was one of those things that was like always back and forth with me. Like I would like what happened, I'll forget about it, I'll just move on and but then something would trigger and I'll see someone with their plants living their happy best life and then I would get triggered. Um, so anyway, since 2019, 2019, well every year should be like this, but since 2019 it has been my most woke year thus far. I wanted to make sure that I didn't leave anything on my list unticked or unchecked. Um, and one of the things on the list was to become a plant mom. The first one was to start a vlog, done, go freelance, done, leave everything, quit everything, and pursue these full time, done. Um, kind of sort of drop out of school for a little bit, done. Uh, do my room, bedroom, live a proper life, interior design wise, done. Every single thing was done except for plants. And I realized that since a big part of my um, living style or change in living style was to be more, for lack of a better word, organic, natural, just be surrounded by that kind of vibe. Um, plants were the key ingredient element to make that work. And everything I have been doing in terms of decorating my space around me has been around those guidelines to keep it airy, um, woody, organic types. Um, if you watched my room tour, you would see what I'm talking about. Uh, so yeah, so plants were a big deal for that. Plus I've always loved surrounding myself with nature. I'm always going outside and walking. I live in the suburbs now, so it kind of works out where I'm just going for long walks. In the countryside, I'm actually, yeah, more... I do say it's suburbs, it's more countryside suburbs, like the suburbs of suburbs. So I did get lucky in that sense that, you know, I have access to wide open fields, forests, um, lots of trees and stuff like that, so I haven't really been missing on that end, but I still wanted it to be a thing of my everyday life, like my surroundings. So again, coming back to the whole thing that I do really need to nail this thing. I can't just press this thing off, so I decided to actually do my homework. I actually figured out why I sucked at keeping my plants alive. So I talked to some of my friends who were doing, are doing a great job at it. I did read some other stuff, and the key thing that I realized that I was doing wrong was like even like where I was sourcing the plants from. I would always get them. Like, all the plants I've gotten so far in my life have been from Ikea, or some convenience store, or some place that, were, that was having a great sale or something, it was super cheap. Uh, so, according to multiple sources, so a lot of my friends have told me that um, buying plants from such sources is not a great idea because they kind of don't come with proper 
quality of soil, if they haven't been fed properly, anything else, they almost always die anyway. So it's not me, I'm not cursed, it was just the where it was just where I was getting plants from. The other thing was to really understand that each plant is different and they have different requirements. So with succulents, I was watering them at once every week, and I realized you're not supposed to do that. You're only supposed to water them once a month. But I did that anyway, because when I talked to the person I got the succulent from, all they told me was, you rarely need to water them. So to me, that was instead of doing every day, I just do it once a week, and that was not right. Um, the other thing was, I never really thought of getting plant food. I was just like, oh, water's cool, I mean, it's fine. Um, maybe like every three, four months I'll change the soil, but that's cool. Eh, nah. Um, and honestly, most of these things were common sense, but it was not common to me. Uh, so I thought, you know, in case there's someone out there who doesn't have the common sense that I lack, or, yeah. Anyways, so I thought I'll just help someone else out by journaling my journey so far. I'm still learning. This is still my first proper collection. Uh, I went to a nursery this time to get my plants. I actually did my homework. I talked to some people, took some quizzes online, and came up with a list of plants I wanted and took that list to the nursery and got my first set. So, let's start talking about the stuff I got. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my cute little succulent, which is kind of sort of dying. I'm not sure why. Anyways, I'll talk about that later. It's a cute little succulent I found. I like how it has purple-ish stuff. Um, it was kind of sort of dying while I took it from the other seat too. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. I really liked it. When I talked to the person, they just said to just take care of it. It's going to come back to life. So that's what I'm doing now. It's not really working. It's not great about talking about this in my intro video. Because I'm on, but... I'll keep you updated with this. I am going to go back to the nursery. It's really, the nursery is really close to my house, so I can just walk there. Um, but yeah, so this thing is still thriving, just leaves a dying, <laughs> which is not a good look for me, but yes, it's pretty and it's nice. And yeah, another succulent I got is like this tree-looking hybrid succulent. I'm not sure what these specific succulents are called because they were all, like when I was talking to them, they just kept calling it a succulent and that's how it, they were labeled. So I'm assuming they're still succulents, just a variation of it. Uh, but this one is thriving and it's great. The key here is to always feel for the leaves and see if they feel thick, but like moist thick, like thick as if they're like filled with water. So that's what I keep doing. I did uh, water them a week ago, so I won't be watering in front of the two or three weeks. Um, that's what the nursery person told me, and so far it's working out. It's just the other one. I think I should have made a proper decision, but I was so smitten by its look, I didn't really care because it was like, even the leaves there, while I was getting it, were dying, and I didn't know it was a good idea, but I'm still in love with it, so I'm gonna make sure I make it come back to life. So it's, here's to hoping. The other thing I got was tiny mini tree again. I really love small variations of tree looking plants. Um, that's like my thing. Uh, so this one's called Therisa. I think it's a Japanese plant tree. Um, maybe it's turning yellow, so hmm, I need to water it. But yeah, this one does need some, uh, more regular watering uh, once a week. It's been a week, so I uh, will be watering it again. The key is to like feel it, and this one is pretty dry, so I will be like watering it. Um, so that's the main thing, actually. Uh, to always feel the soil, I never did that before. I would just be like, hmm, it is dry. Let's just water it. No, you need to really really feel it. And this one is actually really dry, not just like from the looks of it. So I will be watering it. So this is the other thing that I got. It is also thriving, which I'm happy about. Um, so it's supposed
supposed to grow like more wider than tall uh, and supposed to look like a mini tree, which I'm very, very excited for this to become. So I will be post keeping you posted on that. The other mini thing I got was this thing right here. And I forgot what it's called. Oh my god. Don't worry, I will be. I will be uh, labeling it somewhere in this video or in the caption, I'm sorry. Um, their names are very... Posa? No, that's that one. The names are kind of hard to remember. So I call her Nala. So we'll just call her Nala for now. So anyways, this one is also low maintenance. So honestly, every plan that I did get is low maintenance. Um, just so I can start off right. This is also going to grow into a more tree-like looking thing. It's more vertical with thicker leaves and stuff. And same thing with this, rarely need to water. Um, and for this one specifically though, uh, even if it's dry from the top, it's fine. I have to really like dig in a little bit and see if it's like moist underneath. And so far it kind of is, so I'll leave it be. Um, so that's like two, three inches down. It needs to be dry like all the way through. So you need to be careful with that, which I wasn't before. So yes, yeah, so this one, Nala. Let's call her Nala for now. I mean, it is her name. I just don't know what her actual name is. Like, what kind she is. But yeah, so this is my most favorite one so far. It's so cute and I love it so much. And honestly, it sounds so weird. At least it sounds weird to me. Because I remember listening, hearing my friends say it a lot, and I used to be like, hmm, that's, that's great. I remember they would always like get so happy each time like a new leaf would grow, or a plant would like, you know, they're trying to replant a plant and their roots would come out and they're rooting, and they'd get so excited, and in my head I'd be like, I don't see the excitement, but now I totally do. Like this one has a small little, that sprout out it was not there before like right there if you see it and I just saw it just now and now I'm like excited I'm like oh my god this thing is growing my baby is growing and it's, it's so exciting <sighs> yeah you always like say like I'm not gonna become this person I'm not gonna become that person and you become that person I mean that person is a thing it's a bad thing when you shouldn't become that person Anyways, before my ramblings get out of control, we'll move on to another plant. So this one is, I guess, it's pretty normal one. Almost everyone has it. That's why I also wanted it. Um, Monstera. This is a small one though. Um, this is a baby. I do need to repot this, as well as another mini tree. I am waiting to find the per- Excuse me. I'm waiting to find the perfect one. This one, I need it to be like a pot, it needs to be like a mustard color, like my favorite color. So I'm waiting for that, I haven't found it yet, so I'm just gonna keep her, keep her in this pot for now. But I do need to also make sure I find her soon because she does need a bigger pot. Otherwise she's gonna become a dwarf plant and I don't want her to be a dwarf plant, I want her to be a giant plant. So I need to hustle real fast here and find her a bigger home. But anyways, meanwhile, ooh, this one's growing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so yeah, this one, same thing. It just needs to be watered every now and then, um, bi-weekly, or if it's really, really dry. Right now it's not, like, I can still feel it. It's not completely dry. If it's the environment you're in is very, very dry, then maybe weekly, but the whole thing is to just test out the soil and see how much um, watering it needs. And it does need food too, so once, um, once a week I do feed her. But in winter times, I was told to keep her, like, to not feed her as much. She needs to rest apparently. So since it's spring, I do need to feed her a lot. Just in the winter, I will not be. Um, her leaves are going to have those holes in them. So I'm actually waiting for them to grow. The bigger they grow, the holes start come building up. It's going to be so exciting. She really loves this plant. This is a plant that inspired me inspired me to be a plant mom because I love the fake leaves with like those holes in them and every time I saw them in a picture or someone else's house I would just be smitten and I'm like that's the place I want 
That's the leaf I want in my life, and I finally have it. So, don't give up on that dream. Keep following it. You'll get it. I promise. This is proof. Okay. Finally, my money plant. Or if that's what the slang is, then that's what my friend told me it was called. But, on label, it was called Posos or something. I think that's the official name. This one is the most thriving plant I have right now. It keeps growing and growing. Uh, this is also one of the least maintenance um, plants. It literally needs water like barely with a little bit of food and you can replant over and over. You can literally cut off one of the stems and like put in another one and root it first and just keep growing. I remember my friend telling me that he was going to give me one so I should buy another one but it was taking too long and I'm not much of a patient person so I just bought it. So, anyway, someone wants this one. I can source this plant now, so just call up. So anyways, yeah, so this is my favorite one. It's actually on top of my bed. I'm hoping it just grows so it just fills up the entire um, shelf. So far it's filling up a quarter of it. Is that a quarter? Yeah, kind of quarter of it. And I love it. I love, 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 love this one. I mean, Monster is my favorite. Disgusting. Actually, they're all my favorite. I shouldn't have favorites. That's bad. I'm a bad plant mom. But yeah, I think I love them all. And this is so beautiful. And again, honestly, like just seeing them grow makes you so happy. It's like you're an actual mom. And obviously, you are an actual mom. Because plant moms are actual moms. So stop it, Bob. Stop discriminating. And so yeah. So these have been my starter kit plants. I do hope to keep adding more soon, but I do need to so first get the hang of it. My succulent is already dying, which is not a good sign, but again, I did buy a dying succulent in the first place because I just loved it. So I do need to work on that and see how I can revive her. And I'll keep posting you on that too, so keep tabs on my stories. Um, but yeah, this video was literally just an introduction of what I have and how I came about this. Uh, there are some links that I've posted in the caption or description of this video where that helped me. Um, links that, you know, there were some fun quizzes that I did, there were some guides that I got, I made one guide myself. I'm not sure if I've already posted that yet because I'm still working on it, but do keep um, checking this video because I will, if not right now, I will be post updating the links here. Uh, so I'll get my own guide where I'll just talk about what works for me, what didn't work for me, uh, what I was doing wrong, and what helped me. Because honestly, this has been a really shaky ride so far. But it was mainly because I didn't do my homework. And now I have to apply what I've learned so far and practice makes it perfect and this is my first try so hopefully nothing goes south if it does I will still keep you posted and tell you what happened what I did wrong but I'm hoping it doesn't go south so yeah this is it for now um I actually want to talk more about plants but there's nothing else to talk about so I'm not going to keep you here because I'm going to start rambling and feel the ramblings coming out of me. So thank you again for tuning in. I will be doing, this is more of a series than just a standalone video because again this is just me introducing my plants to you and you to my plants and just talking about my journey so far which was pretty basic. My plants kept dying and I said that being a plant mom. But now I have an arsenal of and handy things that I'm hoping will help me keep these babies alive. I will be, yeah, I need to get, I do need like pots for this one and the Monstra. So I'll keep you updated for those two. And I really need to get them soon. Otherwise these people are not gonna grow the way I want them to grow. So yeah, thank you again for tuning in. Stay tuned. I will be adding more videos to the series more plants, hopefully make my living space more of a jungle, 
and that is going to be, but that is the dream. So stay tuned, I'll keep you posted and watch me grow my beautiful green babies and turn my living space into a beautiful forest, jungle, tropical heaven. So yeah, until next time.